Welcome back to Frog Side Quest, folks. So, uh, let's continue on through here so that way we can, you know, continue to finish it because there's a lot of awesome shit here. This is one of the more rewarding and honestly, it's also one of the easiest side quests. So, this is a good one to start with. And again, everything here, weak against fire. Which is why I'm skipping the battles. I mean, come on. Do you really want to just see me use Fire 2 to kill everything? I mean, come on. That's boring. Before the carpenters, or construction workers, or whatever they're called, the idiots who run around uh, Kakariku Village in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. <laughs> but before they come in to continue fixing the building, you have to kill everything in the room that has the holes that you can get to. Basically, you gotta go through and make sure you've killed everything that you can at that time in order to continue with this side quest. Kind of. The main, the main part of the side quest you can actually do without having to do this part. It's crazy, but it's true. We're gonna ignore that chest over there on the right and the one that's on the left. For right now, I'll be talking about, about those a little more either at the end of this part or in the next part, I can't remember. I've had this shit edited for a while now. I'm busy, give me a break here. Yeah, that's the other thing. You have to pay them now every single time. It's fucking annoying. <laughs> you have to pay them every goddamn time you want the damn place fixed. So yeah, you better make sure you have money at this point. Like you have a significant amount. Make sure you're saving probably at least, I don't know, 10, 20 grand. And they always say the same thing after every time. I'm not sure if they increase the price or not. I can't remember. Sorry. <laughs> I can't remember, but anyway. Again, double checking, make sure all enemies in this room are dead. Up here is still blocked, which means we have to go downstairs. And down we go. <laughs> and you also have to make sure everything in this area is dead as well. We can go through the door now, and... Up here is a tombstone. Cyrus, the fool who challenged Magus, rests here. <laughs> Holy shit! What a dis what a horrible thing to have on a headstone. Cyrus, I hath returned. I shall honor my promise to thee. <laughs> it's Cyrus. Who would have guessed? Cyrus! Glenn, thank you for making the journey here. Oh, it's pretty easy when you have a time machine. Thou must think ill of me. On the contrary, you have come far, my friend. When Magus defeated me, I thought all those whom I had left behind. Oh, I thought of. King Guardia, Queen Lynn, and of course you. Cyrus, your skill and dedication is superior. I can rest now knowing that everyone is in good hands. Goodbye, my friend. Cyrus, wait, I, I, I love you. Er, no, sorry. <laughs> Vegas has a hilarious pose during this part. At least I'm pretty sure he does. The Masamuni! Oh, there it is. <laughs> Cyrus is going, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Actually, what he's thinking is, how the fuck is Cyrus here? I burnt him to death. There's no more body. Fucking game. <laughs> Anywho, the Masamuni's been powered up. That was special. Quite. I guess it means that a hero's power comes from within. Mucho metaphysical, man. What the fuck does that mean? Seriously, someone, tell me what that fucking means. That sounds like something the Ninja Turtles would say. My mind? Now for a yummy full-on test. It's thrashing time. Fusion, huh? And yeah. 
So we have unlocked Frog's ultimate weapon. Again, this is one of the easiest side quests in this game to do, and it, it has such a huge payoff. What's more, the hero medal, the accessory that only Frog can equip, I believe, it still doubles the critical hit rate of the Mass Mooney, so it may be worth your while to put that on. I don't think so. I think that there are better accessories, but that's just me. Any way you look at it, Frog's fully powered Mass Mooney is fantastic. It's super fucking strong. So, uh, let's take a little look at it. 175 power, and it hits double against magic enemies. It, that's insane! Anywho, though, that is not all we can get from here. We can actually get what I consider to be the best armors in this game. Yes, I said armors. We, as in, we can get more than one. But I'll talk about that more at the end of this video. Right now, we have to get the carpenters to keep refixing the place, because they, they're fucking con artists. They keep trying to make me pay and pay and pay, and it's like, fuck! <laughs> they're bleeding me dry! <laughs> Not that it really matters. All your money's gonna go to at this point is... <laughs> is healing supplies and these quests. Anyway, I believe that was the last time we need them to help fix the area, so I think it's 6,000 that you want to make sure you have. It's not a horrendous amount, especially when you have the wallet. Again, do not take anything right now. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. They're all weak against fire, so fuck them. We continue on to the back rooms. The yellow blobs are are weak against fire as well. They just they take two shots instead of one, but fire does hurt them the most. So, Frog died in that battle, but whatever. It's over. Alrighty, Rue, ladies and gentlemen, before we do anything else, let's Dimension War! Blah! What the fuck's happening? Okay, I've been mentioning throughout the playthrough that there are... that you can power up items in these sealed chests, and I'm finally gonna demonstrate how. Something is reacting to the pendant. Take the contents out. You say no. You say no. And then you leave. There's also this one over here. I didn't want to show me running to it, but whatever. Now let's time warp in the alternate dimension to the present. 1000 AD. Okay, so let's start with the armor. Nova armor level up. We got one moon armor. Don't worry, I'll show the moon armor. I'll show it. It's shit, but I'll show it. Let's go to the back now. Because there are the two other chests. This works for all of the sealed chests that contain equipment. Not accessories, but equipment. All the vests can be upgraded to males and shit like that, and they're better. The siren weapon leveled up into the Valkyrie, even though they misspelled Valkyrie. And the Kali Blade evolved into the Shiva Edge. Alright, so let's take a little look at all this evolved equipment. Let's start with the armor. The armor, yeah, it has a shitload of defense. It also raises magic defense by 10. That's nice. I mean, that's nice, but... As we'll see later, uh, the other armor you can get from it, the unleveled up version, is so much better. <laughs> anyway, the Valkyrie is a basic weapon. The Shiva Edge is probably debatably the... It, it's one of the debatable best weapons for Chrono, probably. Because it gets four times critical hit damage, as opposed to what his ultimate weapon does. So it's debatable. Anywho, let's go back to the to our dimension. <laughs> so, now, let's go ahead and take a little look at what the normal stuff does. Because the weapons, I, I'd recommend upgrading just because otherwise you're just going to get two of them. The armor, however, I strongly recommend not upgrading because, as we'll see here in a bit, it is so much fucking better. It is just so much fucking better. So, we got the Nova armor. Let's take a look at what it does. 
Yeah, it doesn't have quite as much defense. It doesn't raise magic defense either. But it protects you from all status effects. And believe me, it goes along perfectly with what the best helmet in the game is. It is the best armor in the game. The only downside is only males can wear it. Only male characters can wear it, and that fucking sucks. But anyway, that's just so much better. Not to mention, you can get other armor that you don't lose Nova armor for that do the same thing as the moon armor. If you're wanting to be a completionist, then by all means, go ahead and get the moon armor, but the Nova armor's better. Yeah, technically you can get as many Nova armor as you want, but, you know, whatever. I don't care. It doesn't matter. The Nova armor's still better, and I'd rather have it right now anyway than freaking when I can get it later. Anywho, we're gonna time jump back to the past, because... Once again, we can get another Nova armor. The weapons, I don't really care about, because they're gonna be the same thing I already got. The part where I sh or the earlier moment in the alternate dimension when I showed the weapon level up part thingy... That's- that's when I realized, oh shit, I forgot to show it. <laughs> earlier with the friggin' elemental armors, because I... The, the red armor is the most useful one, and that's the one you have to wait the longest for. That's the one I was going to show it, because it's the most useful of the elemental vests. And then I was like, oh, fuck it. Because I don't care. Any of you can get another Nova armor from doing that. And that means you have two for the rest of the game. It is fantastic. It's the best armor in the game. I don't know what the fuck this game was thinking. The moon armor sucks. Nova armor's where it's at, folks. Anywho, stay tuned for the next part of the side quest of Thon.